things in Madeira that uh, even myself I didn't know before. Uh, and that's so something also that uh, motivates me to keep going. The garden helps me a lot to not only have my free time to think, breathe a little bit, get some fresh air as well. To do such a diversified menu right now, it's a result of going around the island, explore. Try to show as much as possible what the island can offer. It's important for me to, to work with local suppliers because uh, not, not only they will help us in other ways because they all know each other, but also because if we use what is local, we will help, of course, uh, the island. Actually, right now, the Williams menu, I would say 90% is uh, Madeira products. It's very important for me to have this relationship with the suppliers. We need to understand their struggles and they need to understand ours. Since I joined William and Ritz, one thing that I love the most is uh, how humble they are. The team, they are not afraid of saying, I don't know this. Let's, let's understand why, let's learn. And uh, that's very important for me as a chef. At William, we offer a, a modern and a creative fine dining experience that is rooted with the Madeiran and Portuguese gastronomy with an international twist. Every guest that comes to William, they are surrounded with the Funchal Bay, the ocean and the botanical gardens. So I feel a lot of glamour, I feel a lot of story and history here. We are talking about an hotel of more than 100 years old. Costa, I'm the creative executive chef at Reed's Palace on Madeira Island.